to my channel this is Sal speaking uh, it's been a while and I've been very very busy with work and lots of things how you doing guys let me know in the comments below so here we are uh, about the coronavirus it's been interesting the situation uh, well it's uh it's a climate of uh of preoccupation people are worried uh, up north the situation is really bad as there have been many many cases um the virus is very contagious and um it affects people easily uh it's easy to you know to give it to the other uh, and it's it's a freaking hard situation. So up north, the uh, Italian people are having a hard time. Um, let me just give you like some point of view. You know, uh, back in the days uh, when people from the south of Italy, and I'm from the south of Italy, would go up north. Uh, the people from Milan and other countries, and you no, know, they used to be very very close-minded and they were basically against the, the people from the south uh, they would say in this shop can't enter dogs and people from the south so or Sicilians whatever you know so we've been I can say penalized from the people from the north and um, and it's sad that this thing took place in the north no, because I'm Italian and I consider myself to be Italian. So for me, there's no difference between North and South. I'm just saying that the way the South is reacting to, to the situation is way better than the North would have acted upon. You know what I mean? Meaning we've been very open uh, I work in the hotel industry at the moment, and we had people from from the north, from the Milano area, and we've been always open. I think that's, you know, the most important thing about Sicily. Sicilian people are very welcoming, are very friendly, and we've been treated badly from the people from, from the north. We, we don't care, you know, we still are welcoming and open. So, it's sad to say that, um, unfortunately, the virus got here through a person from the north of Italy. And I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not blaming anybody, but I'm just saying the virus didn't come from, from Palermo, didn't come from any other cities here in Sicily, but was brought from people from the north. So that's the situation here. We had a case where there was a, a woman from Bergamo, which is, which is a city close to Milano. And she, had, uh, she wasn't feeling very well, although she didn't have any fever, she didn't have anything. But she was coming from that region, from, from up north. So basically, she was like, uh, she, she saw the doctor and the doctor discovered she had the coronavirus and so her husband did as well even though, even though the very beginning he didn't have any signs of coronavirus uh, after a while they discovered that he had the coronavirus as well and so what happened all the hotel staff because they were staying at a hotel and it was a big group of people and luckily enough the people from the group didn't have anything they weren't like they didn't get hit by the virus which is great because these people have been around Palermo for five days, so you can imagine how many people you can con you can contaminate as you walk around a city like Palermo for five days. So basically, the woman she's I think I believe she's still in the hospital. She's still recovering, and there are them as well. I think there is a third person. So at the moment. Uh, we have three people in the hospital and all of them are from the north they have nothing to do with the south and so the south 
I mean, Sicily is quite safe, even though there have been other cases in other cities, still brought from other people. So it's, uh, it's an interesting situation. Um, and, you know, so let me, let me see what questions. Hello, touch me. Very cold soul. <laughs> hey, Parmesana, how are you doing? We have one case here in St. Louis. It is a girl who was a student at uni in Lombardy. Yeah, that's that's the region. That's one of the regions that's uh, that that's been affected by this virus thing me here, and uh, it's really sad. So that's the region I'm talking about, and I am miles away from from that region. I like to get to Milano from where I live. It takes like roughly one hour and 30 minutes flight so we are far away um but still still um it's not an easy situation as um the economy has been deeply compromised you know and um the thing is like in italy we still don't have like the, the greatest economy in the world um Palermo, Sicily, the same. I would say the same, you know. We, I mean, we could live out of tourism easily because we've got so many great things to see here. Great weather. Um, it hardly rained this year. Like, it's amazing, you know. It's a beautiful country. And with, with a lot of history, lots of things to see, to do, and great food to eat. An amazing place. Um, I don't feel like we. I don't feel like we're risking our lives uh, by living here. Although there is a uh, a situation where people like panic sometimes. For example, like yes, I think it was yesterday. No, or two days ago, we had, there was a, um, a notice made by by the police uh, that was talking about uh, water and the fact that water wasn't safe to drink or uh, to use like tap water and so people all all like the people panicked and most of these people went out to supermarkets to buy water and 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 food and so forth so it, it's a situation where people panic very easily and they, you know, tend to go to like uh, stores and buy food and and uh, what they, what, they, what they're doing, like in a way, it's like they are limiting access to food for other people, you know. And that's kind of a kind of a sad thing in a way, because like this sort of panic uh, builds a situation where. If you're looking for food, you won't be able to find it anymore. That's why I believe like we should all have like some food storage to store our food. Um, that would be a very good idea to do because if you have like a three months food storage with water and everything, if something like this happens or any other, you know, disaster of natural disaster or hurricane, you name it. Whatever happens, if you're prepared, you know you're gonna you're gonna be a winner. But if you're not prepared, of course, that's that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad. So, as I said before, here the situation is okay. Uh, we're doing well. I'm doing well. People, you know, go out running, you know, the, their life is just normal. It's just I've noticed, I've noticed that there are a little bit less people around. Um, uh, but for example, yesterday was Saturday, I went out for a walk and I saw lots of people going out. Schools have been closed, all type of schools, of course, university, even private schools. I collaborate with a with a private school, with a private English school, and uh, 
that school uh, was closed as well. And so we 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 were waiting for exams, but um, so for, so far um, they're not going to be opening until the third of April. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a while. So when winter started, I bought rice and beans, pasta. Yeah, pasta's good. Flour in case. We had snow, so I'm fine. I make my bread. Wow, that's really good. That's a really good, smart thing to do. And uh, most of us don't do it until the emergency strikes. And that's, you know, the wrongest thing in the world. Uh, for example, like here, like the hand sanitizer have, have been like, the prices have been going up so much. Some people like are taking advantage upon this situation, and that's a very dishonest thing to do, you know. Because if you need a hand sanitizer, and they're like selling for it to you like double the, the double of the price, or even more. Some people like were like reported to the police because of that, because that's a nonsense. That's a nonsense attitude. So it's Sunday morning here and I'm walking to go to work. Beautiful day. We got some rain last night, but still it looks great to me. You know, we need water because it hasn't been raining for two months or something like, like maybe in two months it rained two days or three days at the most. So yeah, uh, how did the uh, coronavirus thing me go started? I don't know. I don't know. We can only make assumptions, but we can only assume, but we don't have proof of how this uh, virus maybe was created like in a laboratory. Maybe, I don't know. People say all sort of things, but we don't know. The The main thing will be the the vaccine, like vaccination, the shot. If they get the shots, um, that will prevent many lives from failing. Now, like there are some crazy things happening. For example, uh, people are, are starting to be a little bit like against Italians. They see Italians like a plague. Uh, for example, like there were some cruise ships were like the were Italians and they didn't let them down and I understand that but um I mean I think I'm understanding more the way Chinese people feel as we are like at the moment like I think the the top top country in Europe uh, I think third country in the world after Korea South Korea so we definitely you know had a problem but i don't think we we deserve that treatment you know and and the sad thing is that uh, everything is basically stopped i mean you can travel around and if you if you buy a ticket chances are that they will very likely cancel your your trip so for example i work a lot my work is very demanding and I've been thinking about like going somewhere for a trip, you know. But I haven't I haven't booked anything because I don't know what's going to happen. So I think I'm going to stay here. I think I'm going to stay here and I'm, I'm going to wait and see what's going on. For example, we got like lots of cancellations uh, recently at the hotel. Lots of people canceling, lots of people asking for refunds and reimbursements and I mean I see their point too but you know if a hotel, a hotel of some sort would have to you know uh, reimburse to everybody the the business would definitely collapse would definitely collapse 
And so we we have we aren't receiving any help. Uh, we are. I, I'm not wearing a mask. At work, I'm not wearing a mask. We we don't have such directions from from either from our from our like hotel manager or from the government. You know. So I, I think you know they're not telling us what to do in total. You know they're not telling to to wear masks or a specific type of mask. Uh, they're just telling you to wash your hands, which is, a, which is something very important. Uh, don't make me wrong, you know, I'm just doing it as everybody should do it. You know, that hygiene, uh, it's something important. We should all do it and we should definitely keep on doing that. But still, you know, in social life is compromised because you, you have to stay away, like, like one yard, two yards away, I don't know, in meters, like one meters, two meters away from the person. And that makes it awkward. Uh, some people are not shaking hands, and I think that's um, an exaggeration. I mean, the virus is something serious, and it's gonna, it's gonna get most of us and that's, that's a matter of fact, you know, it's, it's a matter of fact, you can't avoid it. Uh, I'm not going to live my life in, in a shell just because there is this situation at the moment. I'm just trying to live my life in, in the best way I can, in a normal way. Also, um, some people were talking about the fact that the virus could survive um, to like hot temperatures. When I say hot temperatures, I'm talking above 26 Celsius. Not sure how much is that in Fahrenheit. I should make a conversion of that. So some people argue that the virus might not uh, survive at that temperature. So if we get hotter temperatures, the virus is gonna die, which that would be great. Um, so it's good that we are approaching summer, so maybe you know, scientists and doctors, they can study more about this virus thing and they can find a cure. So I'm looking forward to summer, to be honest with you. Hopefully this is the case, because, it's, because if that wouldn't be the case, that's going to be a huge problem. That's going to be a huge problem. So schools have been closed, music schools have been closed theaters, cinemas have been closed and that's not nice that's not nice um, so for example a musician, you know at the moment musicians are having a hard time so okay so 98 Fahrenheit if we reach that temperature the, the virus will very likely die but we, we don't have proofs of this so we're not sure about it So we'll have to see what's going on and it's a nice quiet Sunday morning and I mean, this is like just normal at this time of the day. You know, it's gonna get busier as we go. I can still see people like going out running and doing things like the normal things. So it's uh, it's good to see people reacting to this situation in a way. So we don't know what the future holds. We know that. Um, going to be challenging, it's going to be hard, but we still need to, you know, uh, stay positive and try to, to live our lives in the best way we can. And yeah, that's my update for you guys, so you know what's going on about this coronavirus thing. If you have any questions, please write it in the comments below. 
I thank all my supporters or all my subscribers. You're great. Thank you for uh, my patron supporters for uh, what they're doing. And I will be grateful if uh, you guys will keep on supporting me. And even if new guys would start supporting me. This is a hard situation for us. We're going to face it. And... We're gonna stay positive that things are gonna go well, uh, even though they don't look well. Because if we keep on getting cancellations, if they stop trains or airplanes, for example, another thing that they, the government has done, they have closed uh, basically, not, not airports, but they, they don't give any chance to people from Lombardy to travel to Sicily or to any parts of, of Italy. So they, they don't let the people out from the hot countries, from the, you know, countries where the situation is really bad. And that's a good thing because it's, it's going to prevent us from getting, you know, the virus. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this, you know, chance that we got to, to meet together again, this little live, unexpected live, streaming yeah today i'm gonna be working all day it's gonna be great looking forward to it um yeah i wish you a happy sunday uh, a great day yeah be good guys <laughs> and remember if you feel sad you better call sal bye bye Bye-bye.